Hi guys, Ian here with another lesson and today I'm going to be looking at this Tim Miller style lick. Uh, it's influenced by this technique he uses called the 212 technique which I'll explain in a second but uh, first I want to say if you don't know who Tim Miller is please check him out. He is an incredible guitar player. I was very fortunate to have him as my teacher for uh, a short period of time at school and I learned a lot from him and there was a lot of cool techniques that he had to offer and this is one of them, one of my favorite. Um, the lick is in C whole half diminished. So I'll play the scale real quickly for you just to get that sound in your ear. Starting on the 8th fret. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So the uh, 2 and 2 technique um, basically means that you're starting, you can start on any string, but you're alternating between two notes on one string and then one note on the next string. So you get a very cool um, intervallic sound. You get these crazy intervallic shapes, and you can apply it to any scale, but I chose the diminished scale because. Uh, it fits really nicely within the scale under your, under your fingers and it's very comfortable and also because it's a symmetrical scale you can move this shape up and down the neck and practice it in different areas and the shape stays the same because it's symmetrical. Um, so I'm starting on the 8th fret here with my index finger and also I want to uh, make note that I am doing all downstrokes when I'm ascending and all upstrokes when I'm descending. So just keep that in mind. So uh, starting on the index finger, 8th fret, hammering onto the 10th fret. Then I'm going to put my middle finger, so that's the, that's the two notes on that string, low E. And then I'm going to put my middle finger for the one note on the A string on the uh, ninth fret. And then I'm going to hammer on uh, with my index finger to my ring finger, 7th uh, and 9th fret on the D string. So let's just look at that little chunk there. That sounds like this. And then I'm going to um, put my middle finger on the 8th fret G string and hammer on from the 7th to 9th fret on the B string. So that all together sounds like this. Then I'm going to go back to the G string, put my index finger on the 8th fret, hammer on to the 10th, so it sounds like this. My middle finger on the 9th fret on the B string, and then index finger on the 8th fret on the E string hammer on the 10th fret. So the whole thing ascending sounds like this. And even a little slower here. Okay, so descending um, will sound like this. You're, you're on the 10th fret already because you're hammering onto it. And then you're going to pull off back to the 8th fret. Middle finger back on the 9th fret on the B string. And then pull off from 10th fret to 8th fret on the G string. So. That picture. Um, ring finger, 9th fret on the B string, pull off to the 7th fret, middle finger on the 8th fret, G string, and then pull off from 9th to 7th 
on the D string. So that all together sounds like. Finish the rest of it by putting your middle finger here on the ninth fret, and then pull off from the tenth to the eighth fret on the low E. So the whole thing descending. Okay, so the whole lick again, slow, all the way through sounds like this. Okay, so that's the lick. Um, it sounds harder than it really is. Uh, once you get used to this pattern, it's actually pretty easy to use, um, and it's a lot of fun, and it sounds way different than playing a scale or arpeggio. Um, kind of alien-like, almost. And uh, you can apply it to uh, any kind of shape or scale that you uh, can dream up. So. I hope you enjoyed this and you got something out of it. If you liked it, please subscribe. It helps me out and stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.